Welcome to the Solar Edge Learning Lab. In this video, we'll configure a home hub inverter using the new setup commissioning wizard. Log into setup and scan the QR code on the right side of the inverter. Hold the toggle to the P position for two seconds and tap continue. Setup will connect to the inverter via Wi-Fi. Firmware 4.21.23 is required to display the commissioning wizard. Next, we just follow the instructions on the screen. Click Let's Start. This screen will show you the steps to get your inverter set up and walk you through the process. Click Start. Begin by selecting the type of grid the inverter will connect to. After selecting the grid, confirm and continue. The new pairing procedure is faster and easier. Verify DC voltage and enter the number of optimizers in the system. Click Start Pairing to begin. At this point, you can either select to continue commissioning or wait for pairing to complete by clicking Cancel. If you view pairing, you can tap to view paired optimizers here. Let's continue commissioning by setting monitoring communications. If you have a cellular plug-in, communications will automatically connect. To view the state of connection, you can click the status information icon. If you're not getting signal or would like to connect via Wi-Fi, click Change Communication Type. Select Wi-Fi. Select your network and enter a password. Note that a Wi-Fi antenna is required. Next, you'll be taken to Site Communication to set up meters and RS-485 device connections. When configuring your meter, you can tap View Status at the top of the screen to see what readings are currently coming from the CTs to help verify proper installation. Next step is Device Manager to configure batteries and Solar Edge devices. The backup interface can be selected to change generator settings and view information about the device. Next, we'll select the load controller and configure power rating and minimum on time for the AC unit that we've got on site. You can tap More Info if you'd like to learn more about configuration. If we press Continue, we'll be taken to a summary to verify installation. In this case, we're told that we forgot to configure our batteries. Let's go back and get that done. Select the batteries to associate and configure. Tap Start Association and wait for DC voltage to decrease. This can take a few minutes. After that, to run the battery self-test. With the new commissioning wizard, if a battery state of energy is too low, the discharge test may be skipped. Now to set our battery control mode. If we have a backup interface, we can also enable backup and set the backup reserve. Now our installation summary is telling us everything is good to go and will take us to the status menu to verify everything is reading correctly. If you'd like a commissioning report, you can select the main menu and then generate report. You can export the report using the button at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for joining us in the Solar Edge Learning Lab.